Welcome grade 4. Today inshallah our lesson is decimals greater than 1. Okay. In this figure we want to express the shaded area as both a mixed number and a decimal. We find in this figure that we have two squares. One completely shaded square and another square. The second square we have just two has two shaded spaces out of 10 spaces so the completely shaded square uh, is what is one whole so write one and the two the two shaded spaces out of 10 spaces okay we can represent it as a fraction we uh, in the form of what two uh, tenth two tenth so now we express as a mixed number uh, one whole and the two tenths can we rewrite it as a decimal yes we can write it the whole is what is one ha, at first write the whole number the whole number is what the whole number is one so write one so we wrote the whole number then put a decimal point and write a fraction as a decimal two tenths ha, can we write two tenths now yes we know it it will be two so we write it one and the two tenths one and the two tenths in this figure ha, we find what we find that we have three squares two completely shaded squares and the third square we have ha, not completely shaded square each completely shaded square is one hole so how many holes do we have ha, we have two completely shaded squares so we have two so the whole number is two let's compute now the fraction uh, we know that each row of these rows consists of 10 squares okay so let's count the number of shaded squares now 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 uh, and how many down let's count one two three four so we have four shaded square more than 70 so our fraction now is what is 74 out of 100 so can we write it as a fraction yes the fraction part is what uh, is 74 over 100 and we read it as uh, 7400 can we express now this shaded area as a mixed number yes we can write it as a mixed number write the whole number the whole number is what is two and write the fraction the fraction is 74 hundredths okay so let's read it now yes our mixed number express this shaded area is two and the 74 hundredths can we rewrite it as a decimal yes it's so easy ha, the whole number is what is two then put the decimal point and write the fraction uh, 74 hundredths put 74 and do we read it yes 2 and 74 hundredths now let's solve another question write each as a decimal okay number one we have 5 and 3 tenths it's a mixed number and then now we want to rename it as what yes as a decimal so 5 is the whole so write 5 then put the decimal point 3 tenths we have one digit so after the, de the decimal point we put 3 and we read it also yes 5 and 3 tenths number 2 we have 8 and 7 tenths yes the whole is what is 8 so write 8 and we want to rename the fraction as a decimal so put the decimal point uh, 7 tenths we have just one digit after the decimal point so it will be 7 after the decimal so we read it also add as what yes 8 and 7 tenths number 3 we have 9 and 21 hundredths as a this uh, as a fraction sorry so we want to rename it as a decimal now the whole number is 9 write 9 then but Yes, the decimal point. We have 21 hundredths. 
So two digits after the decimal. So write 21. And we read it 9 and 21 hundredths. Number four. We have 10. Oh, it's not, it's not a next number. Uh, it's a whole number. So how can we rename it as a decimal? Uh, right, 10. And they put the decimal point. Uh, there is no fraction. So put zero. And they read it 10. Okay. Number five. We have three and six hundredths. Uh, what is whole now? Yes, the whole is three. Uh, and we want to rename the fraction as a decimal. Put the decimal point. Uh, pay attention. Six hundredths. We have two digits after the decimal. So we want to write six. Uh, so we will put zero, then six. And read it as, yes, three and six hundredths. Uh, the same idea. Uh, the next number now is two and one hundredths. The whole is what? Yes, the whole is two. Write two. And we want to write a fraction as a decimal. So put the decimal point. One hundredths. We have one digit or two digits after the decimal. The decimal place is two digits. So we want to write one. So it will be zero one. Ha, uh, two point zero one. And we read it as, yes, two and one hundredths. Number seven. Fifty. Is it a mixed number? No, it's a whole. It's just a whole number. So write 50. And we want to write it as a decimal. So put the decimal. Where is the fraction? No fraction. So put zero. Uh, number eight. We have 109 hundredths. Yes. What is the whole now? Yes. The whole is 100. Write 100. Uh, rename the fraction as a decimal. Put the decimal point. Uh, now, nine hundredths. Okay, so we have two digits after the decimal. So put zero and nine. Number nine. Three and eight tenths. Pay attention. Before the word and, we have what? We have uh, the whole. Okay, the whole is before and. After and, we have what? Eight tenths. So we have what? The decimal. Now, we want to write the whole, three, and, put the decimal point, uh, eight tenths, uh, just one digit, tenths means just one digit after the decimal, so it will be eight, three point eight, and we read it, uh, three and eight tenths. Number ten, nine and nineteen hundred, yes, nine and nineteen hundred, so what is the whole now? Yes, nine. Uh, and put the decimal point, 19 hundredths. Now we have two digits. Okay, the decimal place is two digits. Okay, 19. So the two digits are 19. Number 11. 12 and 100. Ah, before and, the whole number. So 12, right? 12. And put the decimal point, ah, 100. Uh, hundreds means that the decimal place is two digits. Now, but we have what? One uh, hundredths. So we have one. How can we write one as two digits now? Yes, write one here and put zero. It will be twelve and one hundred. Number twelve. One hundred fifty-seven. Uh, one hundred fifty-seven. Is it a decimal? Is it a decimal number? No, we don't have a decimal number. Okay, so we write it 157. Okay, so now we write 1, 157. But we don't have a decimal. So put the decimal point and put 0. And we read it 157. 157 with no decimals.